Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as we continue our little Zora side quest cleanup with a little bit of monument reading. I've gone around and made sure I think I found the remaining four places I have not currently read. Though this one's a question in and of itself if I did or not, the others are definitely it plus a location I'm on now. We of course have ourselves something interesting going on Bank of Wishes I'm pretty sure and I've replaced all the shrines that I've seen with the normal markers so I can use the pins once again. It's always a little bit helpful like that. Opponents around for us to get traveling. The main thing I want to do is go check out Robbie's research. See if I can get myself any other upgrades. That said, of course, going to a Tenno would sort another one of them out, wouldn't it? So that's the MO. Well, let's get reading and with a power of editing, get around this place. Memoir of a gifted stonemason. What an honour it was to receive a personal request from King Dorothan to craft a historical stone monument everywhere. It seems so split out that it's hard to read them. I did not realise how much content he'd give me though. It certainly exceeded the line limits of a single monument. I suppose I could just have shortened the text, but it felt wrong to tamper with our great king's words. Thankfully, I was able to split it all between seven monuments to ensure that every word was preserved. I've always prided myself on my ability to think outside the box. I'm so very adaptable and humble as well. While I was at it, I thought, why not add two of my own? So I created one for King Dorothan and one for Prince Sidon. True, this is outside the scope of their commission, but I believe their triumphs deserve as much. But why stop at that? Why indeed, my achievement surely deserves a remembrance too. That is how a commission of one became ten. Of course, having increased the number of monuments, I had to find places for them all. That proved difficult. Oh, so that's why they're all over the place. Still, it is worth it. So long as I remember to sign these monuments, my name will be remembered forever as it should be. Eat. He didn't sign it. Well done, that. Well, well done. Well, well played. He didn't sign it. Well, I'm going to now transport to Divine Beast Valuta, as it's the easiest way for me to get around. So we're going to go for this pin first with the power of editing. Let's get going. I can't believe he didn't sign it. And so we reach the next of the remaining monuments. Let's go see what this one says near the dam. History of the Zora Path 6, Divine Beast Valuta as told by King Dolophan. When the Divine Beast Valuta was first discovered at Zora's domain, my daughter Mitha hurried to see it. Those present that day say they saw an unusual sparkle of excitement in Mitha's normally calm eyes as she beheld Ruta. The princess spoke of the Divine Beast as she would a friend and was overjoyed when she was chosen to pilot Ruta. I thought nothing about it at the time, but given the events that followed, I now regret allowing this to happen. I have spent many long years consumed by guilt. My dearest wish is that a soul will know peace. I pray for it every day. I bet you do. Well, that's one. Let's check out the next. And so we reach the next destination on our travels. One very near to the bridge that I'm not sure we got because we'd have had to loop round to get there. Though we should have seen it as I crossed the bridge, to be honest, thinking about it. I think we haven't got this because I don't remember this water. History of the Zora, part four. The light scaled trident as told by King Dolophan. The Queen and I were blessed with a daughter as lovely as a jewel. We named our princess Mitha. To celebrate her birth, the smithy Dento presented Mitha with a gift, a mighty spear called the Light Scale Trident. Mitha grew into a bright girl and soon reached the age of receiving lessons from the royal family's order of knights. The whole of the royal guard adored her, especially Sergeant Segin, who loved her as if she were his own kin. Under Segin's instruction, Mitha honed her skills and her radiance grew along with her skill with the Light Scale Trident. As a champion, Mipha made her people proud. However, once the great calamity struck, she was never to return. All of Zora's domain fell into misery. The merest thought of the princess was enough to overcome anyone with tears. As a way of offering her soul repose, they tried to send the light scale trident drifting down the Zora River. But when they did, the trident began to glow, and Mipha's voice rang loud and clear for all Zora to hear. The light scale trident and I are one. Abandon your grief and no joy once again. Do not cry. Just remember. And so keeping to her request on the day of the Great Calamity, the day that Mipha passed from this world. The Zora venerate the light scale trident and remember their brave princess. Such is the origin of the Champion Festival. So that's what it's about. So we're very near to the, um, the anniversary of it again, I guess. We've woken up a bit earlier than 100 years. Well, that's all the hot-footed frogs I need then, as well. A nice little catch. Leads us on to our next location, a little bit further away we would say, so let's power of editing up once again. And so we reach monument number four. 
Now let's read what it says as we continue with our history lesson. History of the Zor, part 5. The Sage Princess Ruto, as told by King Dorofan. Ah! Zor history proper. Or at least as we know it. Long, long ago, in a past more distant than even the Great Calamity or the creation of the Divine Beast Valuta, there was a Zora princess named Ruto. We know that she was an attendant to the Zora patron deity, and that she was a fair and lively girl, beloved to all. Around that same time, an evil man with designs of ruling the world appeared, bringing disaster upon Zora's domain. It is said that Ruto then awoke as a sage, facing this foe alongside the Princess of Hyrule and the Hero of Legend. Her achievements are remembered not only by the Zora, they are also forever etched in the history of Hyrule. The Divine Beast Valuta, built ages later to face off against Calamity Ganon, was named in honour of Ruto. That the Zora Princess, my sweet daughter Mipha, was chosen to pilot Ruta is surely the work of fate. And that is our monument quest updated. Done and done we should say. Hello squirrels, run away. I have managed to pick up some swift flowers as I go along, as well as other things. And I'm glad we have that task complete. Oh, it seems I'm right near the edge of everything else. The Bank of Wishes, I would say, is my next destination. To see if anything lies there. Let's get on my way. And lastly, we do find someone waiting for us. With a little canister that I thought was missing. Hello! I'm piloting in, and I bet you've got a quest. You definitely have a quest. It was obvious as anything. Find him, says Finley, if I'm right in saying. Carry my thoughts to him. Hmm? Do you have a wish for the Water Fairy too? Oh, I suppose not. If you did, you'd have a letter to send. But wait, does that mean you're a servant of the Water Fairy? Well, no. I'm just a traveller. You've, you know, just going about, saving the world. Oh really, how lucky indeed. Oh wow, if that's the case, I have an important request for you. Once I release it, I'd like you to follow my love letter and get to know whoever picks it up. Once you do that, please report back to me so I can find out what kind of person he is. Okay. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, why not just go yourself, lazy girl? I'm right, aren't I? The thing is, I promised my mother I wouldn't venture out too far. So I'm begging you, please, find the person who picks up this letter, okay? I guess that's my only option. Fine. <laughs> Tee hee, thank you. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna throw the letter in now. Are you ready? Okay. These letters containers break easily, so please be careful. And there seems to be a barrier in the way, first and foremost. Finley, have you not realised that? Well, I better get moving then. A special delivery begins. Now, in terms of how, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, I'll take some fish. I'll dash as well, because I need to break that down somehow. Uh, what's going to be the best way? Where are you at? Bombs then it is. That'll be the cheapest way as well. Alright, break that down and let it get on its way. But where are we actually going with this, if we think about it? Because it would have to be somewhere that it could settle. Well, stream-wise, it's either going to go that way, or it's going to settle here. It's probably not going to settle somewhere in the way unless it settles there. The question is, this could take a very long time. Especially if it gets stuck like that. I mean, I can follow it along and make sure everything's safe. And I hope to find, like, a Korok on the way or something. I guess it's highly unlikely. It's just watch over it all the way. I mean, every so often, dip in, grab yourself a fish. Best form of fishing, diving from above. Will it survive a waterfall? That's a good question. Will I survive a waterfall? Well, we're not going to take it, of course. I can fly. What's that? Oh, it's a duck. Well, yeah, this could take a very long time. Of much traveling. So if anything, this looks like paraventing to me as well, doesn't it? Let's get our way down. Oh, I guess we also have to stop it from bashing into things. Oh, it's going to start itself off. No problem. So essentially, every so often, you've just got to get out of the water, restore your stamina, and just keep watching. And maybe nudge it along a bit too. Maybe nudge it along. Paraventing time. 
we find ourselves coming up to the end of our trail now. And there's one more blockade. There hasn't been a single one apart from this. With that in the way, I think we obviously have to blow that up. And hopefully, with everything else approaching at speed, we can get everything nicely out of the way. Though, as it seems, uh, we have our own problems to deal with on top of that. Or is, are you going to bash into that? Well, that's annoying. We'll just push you away. And if I can climb up here, I will. Seems kind of handy. What is that down there? Acorns. It seems we got dropped. Well, we'll just let that continue on its way. Avoid the Liz Alphos. Do you know what? Let's engage it, to be honest. Because at least it means something. Though it looks like the current is mostly... Oh, I think I blew up a fish. Let's get the motion control in. One headshot will do it, after all. And they usually always give arrows. But this time I got a bow. Now, where has it gone? It should be underneath me at this point in time. So I think we're right with where it should be leading. Oh, what? A shot of his hair? Bet you're angry about that. Oh, I thought I'd lost eyesight on it, but there it is. So fragile it may be, let's keep clearing its way. Oh, a treasure chest. Well, I think I can pull that on the meantime. What's... Oh, there's a one swimming over there by the look of it. In fact, there's treasure chests all over this place. I just have to hope it goes in the right direction. An opal. There's a Lizolfos really near that, however. And a blood moon incoming. Again. But we do know of it. We know what it does. Do you know what? After the second time, it should just not show a blood moon. It should just... What it should do is it should just go red and then stay red for a while. Let you know that this is going on. Oh, Ninel's sword's nearly down. Because that would have more effect. Power up some enemies as well. Let them have like a red aura. Make them aggressive. So what I mean by that is make them come for you. So say like normally I'd be stealth from here. That guy there could possibly see me. That would be cool. Make it feel more threatening. It does feel creepy if you were not expecting it. But make it mean that creepiness. Do you know what I mean? Make it... A difficulty barrier. Well, I think we're very near our destination, and to be honest, I judge that to be more or less the right place. Hardy base will be bit ours. I'll take that indeed. Well, let's see who's going to receive it. Because even this bit of the stretch was a fairly long time of waiting. I imagine someone should be there, but maybe they can only spawn... Once this is nearby, or maybe it won't even show up at night. What? Well, you got got. And my sword's nearly damaged. But it's coming to the river bank now. And someone has appeared. Doesn't even look like you're going to go get it. Do you want to go get it? I mean, it's right there. Sorry for the random question. Have you ever been to Zora's domain? Yes, I'm I'm kitted in like Zora stuff. Aww. I see. Is it far from here? Uh, it's a fair ways, to be honest. Mm. I see. Oh, sorry. I've got to introduce myself. Oh. I'm Sasan, the traveling merchant. I was on my way to Zora's domain, but a love letter in this inlet caught my eye. The writer seems to be a lovely Zora named Finley. I've been corresponding with her by giving my replies to travelers heading to Zora's domain. Mm. So. You were following this letter? Yes. Aww. Hmm. So she asked you to come down here and see what kind of person I am, is that it? Well, earlier I lied when I wrote to her that I was a buff traveller. She said she wanted to meet me, but even though I'm dying to meet her, I can't do it. Aww. I've really blown it. If I'd known this would happen, that I'd fall for her. I never would have lied. Well, love reigns supreme. Hmm. Love reigns supreme. Hmm. I suppose it does. You know, hearing that does make me feel a little better. Aww. Okay. 
It's time for me to take a chance and try to meet her. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if the torrential rain has stopped. She's waiting in Zora's domain. That's what her letter says anyway. Aww. So I'll achieve two goals at the same time and train my muscles on the way there. I'll get super beefy. Yeah, that's the ticket. I'll run all the way to the domain. Catch you later. I'll meet again at Zora's domain. I'm sure of it. Hey, you go, guy. It's the weird thing, though, is that she looks like in Charles Zora form, but she's probably older than him. Like a fair bit. Well, I guess the guys there are respawned, etc, etc. And all my gathering points have respawned, so it's time to head right the way back up again. That took a long time just to get down, so let me get there yet again for the power of editing. And so we return back to Zora's domain, of course. Ready to turn in all those quests that we wonder exactly where. Tumbo, your fish, isn't it? What is this? Oh, hey, mister. I'm busy. I have the frogs. What? Really? I'll find your mum in time. But I think she's at Lake Hylia by the look of it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five. Do all the Zoras do this? Wow. You really brought them. Here, take this as thanks. So we got an Armoranth. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. It's durable yet flexible fighters raise your defense when cooked into a dish. It's obviously probably a highly prized material. This is called Armoranth. I picked it because it's unusual, but it doesn't really suit me, so it's all yours. Well, thank you there, Tumbo. That is done and done. Right, we need to sort you out in time, don't we, Frank? But I'm wondering where Hi. our young lovers are. Because they're not over there. Has he made it to the domain yet? That's the question in and of itself. We've got ourselves all... Oh, here we are. And they're chatting too. Right, well, if I'm going to get down there, it's probably better to go from here. Let's see what's taking place. As well as take some nuts. So she seems quite happy. Oh, it's you. Hey, Sasan. This is the guy who made sure my letter reached you safely. Oh, it's you. As you can see, I somehow made it to Zora's terrain. Yeah, it's probably because I cleared out all the enemies. So the Blood Moon did come while you were trying to head up. Thanks to you, I managed to work up the courage to finally meet Finley. At least that's how I see it. <laughs> Thank you so much for introducing me to my soulmate. Well, that's a little bit advanced. So Sun and I discussed it, and we decided we just had to thank you the next time we saw you. So here, this is from both of us. Thank you for everything. A gold rupee, 300 rupees, it's raining golden and shine, illuminates your soul. Well, I'm getting money again now, aren't I? So Sun, be sure to swim and climb and lift and stuff a lot. That'll help you build up those muscles you promised me. Oh. As you wish, my darling. I'll try my best. You go there, Sasan. You go. I guess she really likes muscles. No problems here. See, I'd just be a cheat. It's Thor's domain. Go look for some actual muscles. M-U-S-S-E-L-S. -S -S. Here's the muscles I promised you. Yes. Yes, it is. Not, not really. Well, the Hinox is defeated. My reward, please. Hey! Hmm, that stench. Did you perhaps defeat that Hinox by Relic's Pond? I thought, <laughs> stench? That's a bit mean. The stench of victory? What? You really did? I just, I can't. Wow, thank you, really. I knew it. The champion who saved the domain is in a whole other league. Please take this. Consider it a small token of my immense gratitude. A silver rupee. Gotta make that cash. I guess you beat me to dealing with that Hinox. I really want to get stronger. And you will in time. The giant of Relic's Pond is completed. But also, your tomes are here. Get ready to make them. Ah. Link, it was him who checked all the stone monuments for me. Now then, please tell me what was written on them. It's quite a lot, you know. Hmm. The history, culture, folklore, and various rogue acts of the proud Zora people. It's all here. Eureka! Thanks to you, I've compiled the precious information from those stone monuments. <laughs> Link, thank you for taking on such an arduous task. Please allow me to reward you. A diamond this time. That's 500 rupees. Plus whatever better it might be. Turn-ins complete. So we have to find you someone to marry, don't we, sir? Though that's not exactly an express side quest. It's probably the answer to a side quest. Well, that leaves everything from here, apart from the wife washed away. So now it's time to choose somewhere else to go. Finally, adventure out into the wild. Where am I going? Why, I say up and over that is where I'm going indeed. Because I really, 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 really... Really, really, really like upgrades. Of course, we've got the free ancient cores coming soon. 
But it's you, isn't it? Robbie's research. Which is up way over there. Now I could do this one of two ways. I could get a shrine by flying down on from on high. I could go through it all with horses. And travel up this way. These are the questions for me. Or I could just fly straight. Because I'll definitely find a shrine if I do. It'd be nice to get a shrine. Why well, have I kept missing you? A silver shield. I'm not even sure if it's better than what I've got, to be honest. Well, technically better than that. Let's drop you. We've got the guardian shield in case of any lightning. So we'll take the silver shield too. So let's jump over here. And keep on keeping on. Finally, adventure. Not that we haven't been. Just, you know, it feels wrong to leave them all with their troubles and worries. He says, after not going straight to Lake Hylia to sort out the washed away wife. It's a bit mean of me. But I'm quite surprised by my lack of Korok sightings. I must say. The quickest way over the mountain is this way, isn't it? Let's land here. Get a little bit more stamina, right? Eh? Actually, do you know what? Considering I have to swim across the current, I'd have probably been better off just gliding in, wouldn't I? Am I going to make it? Well, with zero stamina left, I press A at the last second, and of course there's only dry land up there. So we're actually okay. Barely. I'll take what I can get regarding that. Out of stamina, sure, but safe. So it's basically, let's cast ourselves off and have ourselves a flying lesson. And maybe, maybe, once we crest this ridge, we'll be able to also see a shrine awaiting. Let's head up to the very top there. Why, you ask? Because I keep searching for Koroks. And never finding them. I'm just suspecting them to be up high, interesting peaks and places. Yet discovered. You know, I'd actually be better off if I... Climb normally, surely. See, no corks to be found. This doesn't even look like it's a puzzle place. There's some moblins, sure. But as they get overcast, we well, see ourselves a shrine. Some interesting places apart from that. A color bay, a tower over there. Would it befit me to fly to it now? I think the shrine's most interesting. And then all of a sudden we pitch off a lot higher than we thought. A pony can't visit me at this point unless I find myself a stable. Or well, fly as much as I can fly. Interesting grass patterns. Yeah, a shrine's nearby. I never would have guessed. I'm going to land on top of that rock. Or at least near it. As we find ourselves mounted by goblins. But I have no problem reaching you. And it looks like a cork too. No, oh, get, get, get it. Wumdana. I'll take that. Bugs are what we need. Really. So what goes here? Another apple? An apple it is. Korok, Korok, I will take you. You will be mine. So divine. And another seed. Another temple way off as well. A shrine. That makes 22. Thank you, Korok guy. But this shrine is where I'm interested in. The Dan Hesho Shrine. Open says me. Let's see what I can get. An orb, of course. 
But one more orb, of course, means a stamina or a heart upgrade. We got ourselves money. We got ourselves side quests done. We need a real marker progress goal. And another 60 more and I think about heading to another dungeon. Ha ha ha. Upgrades interest me the most. A combat trial again? To you, Sitzford in the Shrine, I am Dan Hesho. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this combat trial. Major, minor, moderate? A minor test of strength. Okay, what do you want me to do this time? So you're telling me there could be like loads more majors? I mean, I had a major. That was that was a major heart attack. It's a major struggle. So you're the axe guy, are you? Just defeat it the best way you can. Well, you swipe back twice. I know that much. I know my Linnell saw was about to break as well, so I thought I'd just get it out of the way. What happens if I do this then? Guy. That was rude. Oi! Oi! Lasers. Doesn't seem to do much damage though, does it? Oh, you, you twist before you slice? Okay, all the same. I still got the flurry rush. Now what are you planning? It's not going to work. Oh, it's, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work a lot. Well, that's mean. I'm just thinking, surely I can sell cloth up, but oh well. I'm pressing the wrong button. That's what's going on there. I don't even feel it's worth it to dodge and get the flurry rush. I should have finished this by now. Yeah, I really should have finished that a lot faster. I'll take ancient gears and, of course, an ancient battle axe to replace my broken Linnell sword. We start to weigh ourselves up with two-handers again, really. And then I guess it's that tower we hit. A giant ancient core. Now we've got two of those. Defeat another guardian and I'm sure we'll have three. And I wonder if that where we're heading, they need three of them for an upgrade. That would be great. Thank you. Give me my spirit orb. Four, we are ready. Also, it always gives me my heart's back, which means I know no food needed to be eaten. No worries. Let's see, I'm high up at the moment. So I'm just wondering if I can fly down on any other shrines. Before we really push on towards that tower. I will have a horse for every environment. By the look of it. Well, something way more interesting. I guess I can walk back up to that shrine when I need to. I thought I saw a cork there. A great fairy. Now that, I'm interested in. And in fact, there's armor arms here, so they can't be that rare. Well, let's take a few so we've got them. And then find a tree of interest. Have I got to climb to the peak of that, I wonder? These flowers are all one, two, three, four. They're all poking at it. That's interesting. Unless, wait a second, before I do that. Because it's a combination here. Yeah. Not climb the tree. Five? Well, I hit them all, but where's number five, or is there a way to get there? 
Hmm. Korok, well that looks nice, luminous stone. Because they all face the tree, that's the interesting point. That's the interesting marker. And something flies in the sky. Well, coming up to the top of here does nothing. It's a nice place to rest. Are those Koroks? What do I have to do? Is there a fifth hidden somewhere? Oh, let's just finally get this all sorted out. Boy. Sweet boy. Please. Listen to my story. Sure. I'm the great fairy Misha. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travellers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my powers abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 500 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 500. Here you go. Side quests. Useful, aren't they? Make sure I have funds in hand. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. Fabulous! That's some hair you have there, lady. I see you like the colour purple. Hmm. So you're the one who released me. I was expecting someone bigger, I guess. But a slim little lad like you would do just fine, yes. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. And I think you'll agree, a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing, but I require the necessary materials to do it. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Enhance away! So I can upgrade certain bits, not the base stuff, it seems. But, like, the climbing stuff? There's just a hiding gear. I can't climb do the climbing gear. Ah, missing electric keys wings. I need to go fight some of them. But I can do the Zora gear some more. At least two parts of it, anyway. Well, we may as well. Give me a kiss. To upgrade the Zora armor. Swim speed up. So when it's two levels up and it's fully done, then I get myself a set bonus, don't I? Well, I'll say no thanks for now, because I need the Hyrule Bass, it seems. It seems like a few of my sisters haven't yet recovered their power. Once they have their power back, I can make your clothes even stronger. See you later. So any of the clothed ones can clothe up power? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. The most interesting thing to me is why won't these do anything? Hmm. I'll search around and see you next time on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Bye bye.